Is that mattress actually soundproofing? And now that I don't have it up, there is more of an echo. You've got to be kidding me. Hey guys, Alex from 7th Hour Films back again with House of the Dragon. So I want you to know, um, I don't know if you'll be able to see this. I don't know, it might be too washed out, you might not be able to focus on that. Hang on, it'll dim in just a second, but... There you go, there you, you can see that. 806. It is 806. It's Sunday night, folks. <laughs> it's Sunday night. Um, and for me, tomorrow, tomorrow being Monday, I'm going on a vacation. But I cannot escape YouTube. YouTubers don't fully take breaks, so I'm still doing this week's House of the Dragon. Um, and yeah, the episode literally just dropped about seven minutes ago now, and I hope there's not too much traffic here. So yeah, I'm doing this at 8 o'clock at night before I leave tomorrow on a vacation. By the time you're watching this, I am already on that vacation, and I am relaxing because I'm not doing any more work after this video, so... So yeah, that's why the angle is slightly different, uh, because I didn't want to do everything that I normally do. I normally, like, my mattress is right here where I sleep. I normally, like, pick that up and move it over here, and so that's why, like, the angle is a little off, because all I did was I moved my mattress over and I just put my table over it because I, I did not want to do the whole thing. So... So yeah, and I'm I'm tired. I'm tired. It's the end of a very long day, and I I'm gonna be honest. I don't really want to do this, but I mean, here we are. But what am I gonna do? Cause like, it was either do this, which you know is just is a minor sacrifice, honestly, or do this and the next episode next week. So I decided not to create more work for myself next week. And I'm just going to do it right here, right now. Last time on House of the Dragon, we had the red dragon and the gold. Let's just bottom line it so we can get to the episode. Uh, Rhaenys is dead. Aegon is possibly dead. With that, let's go ahead and jump right into this episode of House of the Dragon. Here we go. Man. I don't want to see Corlys being sad. Man, I'm seeing Corliss being sad. I didn't want this. Behold! The traitor dragon Maelys! Aww. Slain at Brook's rest by your king! I mean... To Aegon! Yeah, I was gonna say, it's like... Yeah, it might have been slain by the king, but... No, they mean him. Which he did not do. Uh, man, behold how nobody is happy about this. I thought the dragons was gods. Meh. It's just me. Meh. Yeah. They're just as animal as the rest of us. Ugh. He's fucking his eye patch. <laughs> Come on, man. He's got the dagger. Dagger of the King. Is Aegon in that box? I mean, that's a pretty dramatic box. Like, I don't know if you have that dramatic a box if he's not dead, but... But you also don't bring a body back to his room, so... I'm assuming he's just barely kicking. Oh, God. Is he alive? He looks like Anakin. Oof, these macers have work to do. Eee. Oh, it's like it was glued to him. Glued by fire. Oh, I don't need this. Oh. Someone will have to rule in his stead. Oh. Such as the Crown Prince. Or the Queen Mother. Lemons. Time is ripe 
If we can strike King's Landing before that dragon is recovered... Then I myself must do it. My queen, you are the crown. It is out of the question. What would you have me do? Yeah, she just sent Rhaenys to die. Rhaenyra is now the best dragon fighter they have. Apart from Daemon. The phrase. That always works. They she will not like it. Then don't tell her. Eh. Not until I'm away. This will work out. Don't tell mom, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go make a treaty. I'll sneak in through the window so that, so that they don't know. The hour is late. My dragon is hungry. Oh, he's finally oh, out of that castle. No choice, but alas, not an answer. I love how every animal in this scene is fidgety. They are pig-headed. Intransigent. They would rather burn than succumb. Exactly the kind of men I need. Oh, yeah. How do you convince they them, yet be though? Possible. They are unyielding in battle. They got a daughter? I don't know what he's thinking, but that's the only thing Every I can think of. Has a weakness. You take my meaning, then. Ah. The eerie itself is impregnable. Well, ten good men and a couple, couple pikes could be impregnated. They did not prepare me to fight. Yeah. If I had been a son, a sword thrust into my hand the moment I could walk. Instead, I was given my father's cup, taught the name of every. Yeah, but look how well that turned out for Aegon. Parading a dragon's head through the streets like a prize of war, but the people see an ill omen. Yes, as do I. They are afraid. Bread is scarce. The king has fallen. They whisper to each other that when Viserys lived, there was peace. Hmm. Will whispers tear down stone? Or break shields? Do not yeah. underestimate your subjects. They are a thousand thousand living in the shadow of the Red Keep and forgotten for too long. Oh, we're going back to this. Game of Thrones always talked about the people of the Red Keep, they will turn on the people. Did your grandmother ever tell you of the night she claimed Maylees? She snuck into the dragon pit? <laughs> she knew that place better than any elder. <laughs> so she could see in the dark. My father was furious. His own mother's dragon. The fastest beast ever known and she loved none of him. <laughs> but bent her neck to Rainy. She was fierce. No, oh, yeah. Damon. Oh no. Damon. Hmm. You were always the strong one. The finest swordsman. Who is this? It's. <sighs> oh, good. They're censoring it for me. Love in his heart. Is this Viserys' first wife? But he lacked your constitution. Eh. Viserys was unsuited for the crown. Yep, uh, I think it is. But you... Ooh. Damon, you were made to wear it. How do you film something like that, man? Mm. If only you'd been born first. Mm. My favorite son. Is the duck not to your liking, Your Grace? <laughs> There's also goose, uh, if you prefer it. I like the goose myself. You got like you got a stiff drink, man, Jiminy. So it was is his mother. I don't know. Oh. I feel like at the end of this season, someone's gonna, like, do a video essay of, like, let's read into all of Damon's weird tripping ball scenes. Laris transferred his family's wealth to King's Landing. Is there any gold left in your coffers? <sighs> Rather thought your grace as uh, emissary to the queen. That you would have money. That Paranor is my command. I shall guarantee the payment myself. Oh, joy. Get up, you morons. You should address me as my king. 
Are you changing it again? What would you call the husband of the queen? Well, the king. There it is then. Consort. Uh, yeah. That last bit seems unnecessary, don't you think? Uh, but nonetheless true. The king does not lack for heirs. The obvious choice is his immediate successor, Prince Eamon. Agreed. Eamon is young. How far can he extend his lips, and I his wonder? his restraint has already cost us dearly. Meh. Damn. Only a mother can do that. In front of everyone. Not you. It is. Eamon is the next in line. It must be him. Okay, then. It's agreed, then. I'm now going to take the other chair. Don't worry. My lips have already reached it uh, during that conversation. What is our standing in the universe? He doesn't waste any time, does he? So far. He's about to freak out. Go to your tasks. We shall meet again at first light. Or in someone cut down the fucking rat catchers. Meh. He's smart. Uh, Allison did a great job raising those kids. Two of them are crazy. Helene is all right. You think Rhaenyra will let such an affront go unchallenged? Yeah, be careful about that stuff. The walls have ears, Eddie. Dog, dog. What a loyal dog. Dogs are such great creatures, aren't they? I'm so tired. <laughs> you know what? Allison, time to retire. <laughs> time to leave. Go to go to Hightower or here. whatever. Their armor melted. There were men walking, they were on fire. Oh, we suddenly war is real. All right, Kristen Cold, Kristen Cold Depression Arc. Let's go. Help! 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 Oh, oh they are all desperate. This is what you do, man. How many times in Game of Thrones did they bring up? You just gotta turn the people of King's Landing against them. Now, nothing really ever came of that. But still. Cersei just kind of sat in her tower with a drink, but you know. Laris Strong has been relieved of his castle. Does the Queen intend to raise up a new lord? You want Harrenhal. You don't want Harrenhal. Trust me, you do not want that creepy place. For that. My mother will want more than your crossing. What does her grace desire? Well, at least he's not, like, just giving it immediately. Bent knees. Okay, that wasn't... horrible. I don't know if it worked. I don't know if... <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna work. But, I mean, I'm glad he didn't just give Aaron Hall immediately. Speaking of, uh, looks like an Assassin's Creed location. No, not again. I can't be dealing with this in the middle of the day. There's news then. Yes. No. Well, I hear I hear in the wind. This girl's great at being really Going creepy. The Blackens had their chance to do as I required. They will perhaps think better of their decision if their children's lives are staked on it. Mm. Regular tenth plague up in here. She cannot succeed, Alice. Even if I willed it to be so, the people who support her will not be led by her. They look to a man for strength. Who's better suited to it? The high towers with their scheming? Or Viserys' first true heir? When I take King's Landing... Uh... Rhaenyra is welcome to join me there and take her place by my side. Oh, yeah. King and queen. Ruling together. 
And if you lose, then I'll be dead. And none of this will be my problem. Yeah. Pity, don't you Fair. think that you never knew your mother? Oh. Okay, I was about to say, what if this woman one. doesn't exist? House Bracken is yours. Yay. At a boy. My castle is a tomb. <sighs> Empty. Haunted. He has lost a lot of his and family. Sad, Miss Queen Rhaenyra wishes to name you Hand. <sighs> really? I should not ask enough of my house. It is a sign of her great esteem. Or does she think the position will compensate me for my loss? Pledge your peace to King's Landing, then. They will accept it most gleefully. Yeah. Rather, I would sail into the West and be lost. Oh, yeah. You have done so before. Ironically, that's what you're saying. At great cost to yourself and those who loved you. Damn. I grieve my grandmother who loved me. But I carry her on with me. I will see Rhaenyra ascend the Iron Throne, as Rhaenys wished. As Rhaenys herself should have. <laughs> yeah. But I will not send a message by Raven for Den to disregard. I ask you to reason with him. <laughs> Find out his state. Good luck with that, and buddy. His oh, here we go again. <coughs> Do you think he just like he's just staying awake now? He's just like I will not fall asleep. Nope. Never mind. The river lords have come, Your Grace. They wish an audience. Now? Me. What godless hour is it? The wolf. There have been, um, complications. The sacred seps on Bracken lands were looted and burned. As were the fields and farms. The livestock was stolen and our peasants put to the sword. They pursued the women and the children. No. Not just the men, but the women and the children, too. Lands. Huh. Have you looked after our girls? Oh, his first wife. Oh, his second wife. Oh. Was it worth the price? Oh. Oof. What if he tells you something and then he dies? Oh, Man, this kid. Lysenia. Vagar's first rider. And the first wielder of Dark Sister. Hmm. I hope you don't want to use her as an example. Why shouldn't I? Well, it was a long time ago. Mm. What is the mood at the twins? Mm. She Did knows. his lordship quibble? Quibble. You chafed at being prevented from action. Imagine, my lord, I'm a dragon rider as well. With a war being fought over my ascension. And yet, I must wait here. Mm. Always prudent. Sending others to fight and be felled in my name. Even you have managed to do your part. Oh, yeah. You are the queen. Perhaps Damon could... Oh, yeah. Vega is big, but Cyrax is quicker. So was Melis. Melis fought two dragons and one of them is slain. To be fair. Shall I fight for my birthright or shall I wait here until we are all destroyed? What to do, what to do. We have two large enough to stand against Vagar. They are called Vermithor and Silverwing. And they sleep just beneath our feet. Yes, and if only they had riders, none could stand against me. Meh. Are you suggesting we put a mallet <coughs> on a dragon? A tali. It's better than death and defeat. Meh. There are records here, surely, of our line and of those who fell out of it. Yeah, you're surrounded by paper. It's a mad sword. Yeah. Got it.
personally, thank goodness. Is it is a nine ten in at night. It's fully dark back there. And I'm exhausted. But that's okay. Okay. Um I did I paid attention to the whole episode. I am so tired. I am so so tired now, but we're going to talk about it. Probably not very long. <laughs> Probably not very long. And then we're going to cut it. And then next week I will be back to form. Because it will be in the morning. I will be well rested. And we'll just... We'll, we'll be fine. You know what? To keep my mind, like, coherent enough, I'm going to literally just go down my list of notes. Number one. Melis and no glory. I like that. I like that there is just no glory in the victory over Rhaenys, you know? Like, it's just... Like, like Cole said, it's like, well, it's a victory, isn't it? And it's like, yes, but it's a strange victory. Everyone there in King's Landing, even just regular people, regular stupid people, you know? Everyone in King's Landing sees the head of Melis and is like, that's not good. That's a bad omen, you know? And it's an interesting thing because it's like, it just seems to make sense, you know, where it's like, well, we defeated this great combatant and we have a trophy, you know? It's like, you know, Joffrey putting Ned Stark's head on a spike, you know? It's just like, it's... T right? But this isn't just an enemy combatant. This is a dragon, you know? I mean, even there, uh, there was the guy that was like, oh, I thought, them, I, I thought the dragons were gods. And the, the, the blacksmith basically said, is like, nope, they're just meat. It's like, if anything, you've, you've shown that they are not, they are not all powerful. As strong as Vagar is, for, Vagar is also old. Vagar is old and not invincible. Strong, yes, but not invincible, you know? Where everyone else is driving cars, Vagar is a tank. That doesn't mean the tank will always be there and always be great. But, you know, it just has an inherent advantage, so... Next, Aegon. Aegon is in critical condition. <laughs> and just, like, just the moment where he... Uh, right after Allison, which at least Allison seems to care about him, you know... Allison seems to care that her son was, you know, brutally burned, and she definitely suspects Eamon, I think, but, um, but at the same time, it's like, that moment where she leaves, she leaves his side, and then he calls out, mummy, you know, it's just like, this kid, you know, it's like, look, yes, he has he done horrible things, Yes, but at the end of the day, it's like you're kind of just reminded, oh, this is a child. A child neglected by his mother, you know? And to an extent, because I, I, I saw some people last week saying, you know, neglected by both of his parents. Yes, I, I mean, the, yeah, because I guess, because Viserys was up on his feet for a, a chunk of Aegon's life. It's only in these past, like, what, ten years that that Viserys was, like, pretty bedridden, so... I don't know. But anyway. But now, now we have the Prince Regent, Aemond. Aemond will now pretty much ascend the Iron Throne. And I mean, like, look, I have no doubt that Aemond is not going to just let Aegon possibly recover. Like... He probably has something in place to make sure that Aegon dies, you know? But now, Aemond is, Aemond is in charge. Every single person there voted for him as opposed to Alicent, you know? Uh, and he wasted no time. He got straight to work, you know? Heck, who knows? We may see Otto next episode. <laughs> we may see Otto next episode... If, uh, I mean, maybe not. Like, I could see Aemond bringing back Otto as Hand of the King, 
But at the same time, he probably can't change the hand of the king while he is, well, not the king, you know? If Aegon dies, then he will be able to change it, but... Um, next, uh, Jace, uh, Jace trying to act, which was, uh, good. I mean, he did it well, you know, it was not sanctioned, but he did it well. Um, he actually, like, did something good, which, yeah, there is something, like, we haven't really seen Jace do anything, but that's on purpose, like, it's on purpose that he hasn't done anything, you know? So, uh, and Damon... Still, how many times can I watch this man trip balls at Hall, man? But now we see Damon does plot for the for the throne, for the crown. And while he does not want to kill Rhaenyra, he will allow he will allow her to be his queen, you know? But he is he is gunning he is gunning for the for the Iron Throne too, so that's a problem. Um, uh, what's next? Uh, Rhaenyra, Rhaenyra working on her options again. The whole thing of like, uh, which I swear this was said like multiple times in Game of Thrones, but it's like literally turn the people of King's Landing against the Red Keep, you know. Like, that is absolutely what uh, Miss Arya is now going to work on, you know? And, if anything, Aemond has already started that, you know? Like, these promises, like, now that family is like, yeah, Aegon, Aegon is gone, pretty much, you know? And with, Aeg with Aemond the King, you know, or Prince Regent, it's like, yeah, that helping the small folk thing, that's kind of out the window now, so... Um, but yeah, but it's an interesting thing, and I like, you know, to go back to uh, the whole thing with Jace, I like that uh, that frustration there between Jace and Rhaenyra, where Jace, you know, is like, well, I'm not being sent to do anything, I'm literally just sent here as the, you know, coddled princeling, but that's the thing, is that's exactly what Rhaenyra is going through, you know? All of these lords just want her to, you know, just go and sit in a room where she will be protected from everything. Yeah, we're gonna put you on the Iron Throne. But we're gonna fight the war and stuff, you know? And, you know, she is not allowed to act. Now, granted, part of it is true. Because it's like, you know, she needs... To, she can't... If she had gone out there and been killed by Aemon instead of Rhaenys... Pretty much all of this would be over, you know? I mean, I guess, technically, there's still Jace and Daemon. But, like, oaths were sworn to Rhaenyra. Not to them, you know? Though, I don't think that would stop uh, Craig and Stark. I think he he would probably still be like, okay, you know, you know, uh, my we we swore I my family swore an oath to Rhaenyra. This then passes to Jace, you know. So, so yeah, but it's interesting, like seeing uh, Rhaenyra's frustration as well, and the biggest obstacle, literally the the biggest. It doesn't get any bigger than this. The biggest obstacle they have to overcome now is Vagar, you know? It's... I mean, it's it's just, like, ridiculous, you know? It's like... I, I'm trying to come up with, like, a metaphor. It would be like if you had a bunch of street brawlers. Like, if you had, like, a gang war of street brawlers, but one of the teams had, like, Mike Tyson now, you know? <laughs> like, like not, not exactly in his prime Mike Tyson... But still, he's Mike Tyson, you know? That's kind of what Vagar is, you know? It's like, look, I wouldn't want to fight Mike Tyson now, you know? But if they can if they can start getting some people, then they can take on Mike Tyson. There we go. There's an analogy. <laughs> oh, good grief. How long have I been going? About ten minutes on this discussion, so... Uh, but I do like the idea of getting new dragon riders because they do have two big, strong dragons, but no riders. So they're now going to go look at who are the <laughs> who are the others of House Targaryen. You know, the previouslys of House Targaryen. Perhaps they can be dragon riders for Rhaenyra. And I mean, hey, Damon was right because at the beginning of the season. 
Damon immediately wanted him and Rhaenys to go and kill Vagar. He knew he couldn't do it alone, but together they had a stronger chance, and... Well, maybe they should have done it. Maybe they should have done it, you know? I do like how they point out, too, that it's like, you know... Yes, m yes, Rhaenys and, and Maelys were killed, but she did take out Sunfire, you know? When she was technically outnumbered by Sunfire and Vagar, she still managed to take out Sunfire, you know? Now, granted, Aemon did help that, because uh, he had Vagar blast both of them. But still, but still. Uh, I don't know, man. And then Corlys. Corlys, can he recover from this? Can he. Can he be. Hand of the Queen. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's an interesting thing that Rhaenys... Not Rhaenys. Rhaenyra. I'm so tired. That Rhaenyra has not chosen a Hand of the Queen yet, you know? Now, granted, I guess she's only... She's been Queen since Episode 9 of last season. And to be fair, that was only weeks ago in, in, in the timeline. So she just hasn't had the time yet. But I do like that. I like... Naming Corliss Hand of the King or Hand of the Queen. I'm so tired, and and while you know initially he sees it as like you know it's like oh how much more can my house give to her you know but it's like it's it's not really that it's I mean it's kind of that but at the same time it is like you know we have a duty to Rhaenys you know she wanted to put Rhaenyra on the throne in the way that she never could. So we gotta do that, you know? <sighs> it's all been an interesting thing, like, especially with, like, Rhaenys' support of Rhaenyra, you know? Which pretty much, like, you know, they hadn't... Like, it was pretty much not until Episode 8 when Rhaenys did decide to side with, uh, with Rhaenyra when Vaemon was challenging uh, Lucerus's claim to Driftmark. I'm amazed I remember all of this right now. But as soon as Viserys came in, you know, to reaffirm it, then Rhaenys was like, yeah, we should stick together, you know? So, I don't know. Can, will Corliss come back? I mean, I, I assume he probably will, but can Corliss come back from this? I mean, the poor guy, he has lost his wife, both of his children... <laughs> Both of his children, because even though we know that Lainor is alive, he doesn't know that Lainor is alive. So, I don't know. I don't know. I hope, uh, if, I don't know. I, I, I hope things. Okay. I'm done, because I'm so tired. That was about 14 minutes or so. Decent enough discussion. Next week, I will be well-rested. It will be the morning, not clearly the night. I was trying to think, like, when was the last time I recorded... So I've never recorded this late, uh, ever. But, like, the last couple I can think of was, like... I know, like, the last episode of Merlin went late, and I think, like, I recorded the f the very first episode of JoJo, uh, bif like, late at night, I think. If I remember that correctly, so... Hopefully I'll never have to do this again. I'm so tired. I'm going to rest, go to sleep, and then I'm going to go relax on a vacation. So, uh, so yeah, that is basically it. With all of that being said, I'm Alex from Seventh Hour Films, and I will see you guys next time. Take care. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. There's a bunch of links on screen if you want to go click around any of those. There's a playlist with all of my House of the Dragon reactions as well as another video you can go click on if you want. There's also a subscribe button and a Patreon button on screen as well as other links in the description if you want to go check out any of those. See you guys later.